Adam Lerner, and I just wanted to start today off by thanking uh, everybody in the Fro Knows Photo community for all of your support, all of your outpouring of encouragement, of comments, of everybody subscribing to my YouTube channel. I, I can't thank you guys enough. I really have to thank, of course, Jared for encouraging me to do this, for giving me this huge jump start. And I'm really just so excited to be a part of the Fro community and to be able to share with you guys Lightroom tips and photography tips and all kinds of other really great stuff. So a lot of you guys have been asking about how do I customize my Lightroom screen? How do I, how do I get my name up there? How do I get my uh, logo up there? You know, how do you get it to look that way? And uh, it's, it's actually fairly straightforward. Now, for the purpose of starting off with these tutorial videos, I've created a brand new uh, Lightroom catalog. This is a blank slate. There's no images in here. There's no metadata. There's no keywords. There's nothing because over time I want to get to all those things without the influence of being cluttered by some of the other catalogs that I use for my work. Not to say we won't go back to those, but this is a blank slate. So in order to customize the identity plate, which is this region up here, you go to the Lightroom menu, select identity plate setup. Now, where you see right here, there's a box where a cursor is blinking. That is where you can type in your information. So I'm just going to put in Adam Lerner Photography. And I'm going to select that text because it's a little bit small. And I'm going to make it a bigger typeface. I'm going to just guess at 36. And while it's still selected, I'm going to change the color with the color picker right here. And I'm going to go with this cayenne like that. Now, um, I'm also going to leave this as Helvetica, but I'm going to look over here and I'm going to look at the module information. And you can see that you can also do a complementary typeface for the module picker buttons. And it's defaulted to Myriad Web Pro. I'm going to, for the sake of consistency, select Helvetica. And I'm also going to make the font, the typeface a little bit larger and I'll, let's say we'll go to 24 like that. Now, you can also see that the, the highlighted module, the library module is a light gray, which is this, and the other modules are in a darker gray. So to keep consistent with the nameplate that I've selected over here, I'm gonna go into the color picker and I'm also gonna make that cayenne. Now, in order to select this to actually have it work, I'm gonna select enable identity plate custom. Okay, and I'll hit OK. And there you go. You've got your name and you've got the consistency of the module over here. Now, some other things that you guys can do over here, we're not going to get into it, is you can select use a graphical identity plate. And what you can do here is you can actually locate a file. So if you've created an actual logo on your computer, you can you can go through here, locate it, and it'll it'll appear over there, or you can just drag it into that space and you can see how that's going to look. The other thing you want to do is where it says enable custom, identity plate custom, you can also do a save as. Okay, so I'm just going to select ALP and I'm going to save that. So let's say I'm going to potentially be doing something with a wedding client and I want to do a different type of thing here. I can go in here and I can select Adam Lerner Weddings. Let me retype that. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, and I can just save this one as Adam Lerner Weddings. Save, okay. So now I'm in Adam Lerner Weddings, I'm with a wedding client, I'm showing them some Lightroom, and I'm going to go to, let's say, an advertising client, and I want a different identity plate, I can go to Adam Lerner Photography, select okay, boom. So there you go. That's an, a quick and easy way to quickly modify your identity plate and customize the overall look of your Lightroom. Now, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for the other types of Lightroom videos that you guys want to see, please leave them in the comments section under the video. And if you have any other questions for me, please email me at adamlearnerphoto at gmail.com. So that's it for now, and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm.